Hi, this is Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and in this video I'm showing a paper smooches card featuring the Lovely Thought stamp set. I used the roses, flowers, and stitch dies to complement these beautiful stamps. Lovely Thoughts is a builder stamp set, which includes three-step stamping for two roses, a large one and a small one. There are also three parts for two leaves. I love the cute little hearts and dots that could be used as accents. Another thing I love about this stamp set is that there are so many sentiments to choose from and they cover a wide range of occasions. There's also an ampersand so you can combine the sentiments. I start with a craft card base and trim a white panel that is a half inch smaller. I stamp the outline of the big rose in Memento Lux Elderberry. The second part will be stamped in Sweet Plum. And the third part will be stamped in Lilac Posies. The easiest way to line up the stamps is to look at the bottom two petals. Once those are in place, the others line up automatically. It's okay to not get them exactly within the line, since having a bit of white is essentially the highlight. I did a draft stamping where no white was showing, and it made the rose look really dark and flat. After the large rose is finished, I repeat the same process with the smaller rose. Elderberry first, then sweet plum, and finally lilac posies. Next, I'm going to use the curved stitch die to create the stem on these roses. I just position it on the panel, hold it in place with masking tape, and run it through my Big Shot. I do the same for the other rows, but use the curve in the opposite direction. When the stems are done, I use the small leaf die from the Roses dies, as well as a similar one from the Flowers die collection. I cut these leaves from Glimmer cardstock. My camera must have been off when I decided that the glimmer was too sparkly, so I recut the leaves in vellum for an overlay. Then I try out a couple of sentiments to see which one will look best with the layout I've created. As you can see, I'm constantly moving the leaves around to see if they look better elsewhere and in another direction. As the sentiment size and position changes, so does the position of the leaves. When I decide on the position of the sentiment, I stamp it in VersaFine Onyx Black Pigment Ink. I assemble the leaves by adhering the vellum to the glimmer cardstock with micro glue dots, and then the leaves themselves to the panel. The vellum layer is slightly staggered off center from the glimmer. After the leaves are adhered, I decide to add a half inch strip of black cardstock to ground the flowers. I make a small adjustment to the angle of the top leaf before adding an eighth inch strip of glimmer cardstock at the top of the panel to balance out the leaves and draw the eyes upward. After that is adhered with score tape, I hold the panel against the card base to see how it looks. I want the base to look warmer, so I use frayed burlap distress ink and a mini blending tool to sponge around the edges. Now it's perfect and I can go ahead and adhere the panel to the card base. Now my card is done. The Lovely Thought stamp set in rose dies will be available for purchase at midnight tonight at the Paper Smooches store and participating retailers on December 1st or shortly thereafter. Before I go I'd like to announce the winner of my Squirrel Fest challenge and giveaway. I used random org to select which of the four categories the winner would be selected from, and that was the challenge portion. Then I used random org again to select from the challenge participants, and the lucky winner of Chili Chums and I Blank You is Samantha Mann. Congratulations, Samantha. Please contact me with your mailing address, and I'll ship these stamps out to you right away.
Thanks so much to everyone who participated. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my work. Thanks so much for watching.